Let's take a look at uh, Edward McCain's song, I'll Be. And uh, it's a great song. It also gives us some core grips that might be new and um, something that we can uh, take from the song to other things that we play. So let me play through the intro and then uh, we'll just break the song down as it goes. And then we'll, um, at the end of the video, maybe look at some other ways to use these chords or alternate chords to play this song. So the intro is this. <laughs> The key of the song is the key of B, and we're going to use this chord uh, as sort of our home bass chord, I guess you could say. It's a B chord, 7th fret E, 9th fret A and D, and I'm getting the 8th uh, fret of the G string, and then the B and the E string are open on top. So 7, 9, 9, 8, open, open. Call this a hinge bar because instead of uh, making kind of a traditional bar chord, I'm kind of hinging up to get the open B and E string. I'm going to an E chord, seventh fret of A, and back on the ninth fret of D and G. Open, open. So open low E seven. So the intro is just going through those two chords twice. Through the verse. That brings us to a, a new grip. Which is a grip that really has a great sound to it. Um, this is an F sharp with a third on the bottom, a B flat. So the D string, um, fourth fret with my first finger, down to the low E string, sixth fret with my middle finger, muting the A string with that same finger so I don't have it. Sixth fret G with my ring finger, and pinky on the B string of the seventh fret. get the high E if you wanted to, but um, I'm not. I'm kind of muting it with my pinky here. So I'm really only playing four strings. E, D, G, and B string. I'm going to take that same grip down two frets. So and what I've got here is an F sharp chord root, third root, and a third of the chord on the bottom, the B flat, or the A sharp, I to say it. This is an E chord with a G sharp bass, E, B, E, and the G sharp on the bottom. And the high E string really sounds good here if you want, it's kind of a unison. So. Chorus. I'm going to move through these chords a little quicker. Last time we're going to slow them down. Then we're to the chorus which is a chords that we've already learned. To the E, back to the B, to the F sharp, to the E, again. And the turn, B to E again. Second verse. 
Okay, the bridge, we're gonna build into the bridge on the big B chord. That's a G sharp minor. One way to play that is just to bar the fourth fret, all six strings, sixth fret of A and D. That's one way to play it. Another way to play it, to get these open strings, uh, is to use your thumb here on the fourth fret of the low E. Again, sixth fret of A and D, fourth fret of G, and then open B and E. Or just leaving the B and E out of it. There's the full bar. Or with your thumb. Another way to play that is um, sort of a G minor, G sharp minor seven. Second finger on the fourth fret of the low E, muting the A string. Fourth fret of D and G too. And then getting maybe the top two strings or not. So that has this kind of a sound. I'm going to play uh, the top strings this time. Here, I won't play them. So, bar, full bar, sort of a thumb partial uh, hinge chord there, or just this. Okay, from there we're going to move to an F sharp hinge bar. Same grip as here, just on the second fret, to an E. Then I'm going to suspend it with my pinky on the second fret of the G string. And then all that again. Second fret, D and G, open B and E, open A, then back to the F sharp, then back to the chorus. So that bridge, a couple ways to play that bridge. Here's the bar chord. Hinge bar. This is G sharp, minor seven. Ways you can use those chords. The hinge bars work on a few frets. I like it on two. That's really a great sound chord for us. Fifth fret, and then the seventh fret where we've been playing it here. So that's that's a grip. You can use it on the third fret as well for a G, A, B. So that's a, that's a little position that I didn't learn until I played guitar for a lot of years. I really never saw it when I first started playing, but I like it. Uh, this script that we looked at, I want to say a little more about that. The root or the name of the chord that you're playing in this grip is not on the bottom because you've got the third on the bottom. So you can find the name of the chord on the D string or the B string because that's an octave apart. So in this case, I've got an E note. So this is an E with a G sharp bass or an E slash G sharp. So as guitar players, we run into a lot of slash chords. So this is a good grip for those. If you had an F slash A, for example, this is an F with an A on the bottom. So it's another way to play that slash chord. A G with a B bass. An A with a C sharp bass. So I can move this anywhere up the fretboard. Again, I'm getting my root note from my first finger or my pinky. So my C sharp's on the bottom. 
So any chord that you need a third on the bottom, this is a good grip to use. Because it's a really nice sounding chord. Uh, in the E position, you might get the open string. Some of these positions, you might like the open string. Like the A chord, C sharp, A, E, uh, A, and then an E on top. This song, uh, this be here, could, could be replaced with this B grip, 2nd fret A, 4th fret D and G. This is another grip that can be moved around the fretboard, the root being on the bottom now. So um, if I wanted a little break from this, just change it up a little bit, I can play there. Just some ideas that you can use and uh, hopefully learn a great song too. Thanks for watching.